Welcome back, my artistic family, to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. Thank you for joining me today. As you guys can see, I have no canvas. I am pouring on glass. I will be explaining to you guys um, the details for the 10K giveaway. So, with that being said, what I'm doing today is I've got these two beautiful wine glasses, okay? gorgeous and we're going to be doing a dip on those and then I'm going to be using the same colors and using this 8x10 which was in a broken frame I like to reduce reuse recycle I'm very practical if it's not garbage or you can do something else with it my thing is do something else with it and so I'm just going to get a nice frame for this um, if I like the outcome and frame it. It's glass, you don't gotta worry, it's gonna breathe, it's fine. You could definitely put glass over your pores, no worries. And then once I'm done with the dip, I have this Mod Podge here. The last wine glasses that I did, I, I finished with Minwax Polycrylic, and um, I will link that for you. I have a playlist called Acrylic Pouring on Glass as well, so I'll link that playlist for you guys to take a look. But you can get matte, this is gloss, and you can also get the dishwasher safe, which I believe is a green tab, and then the matte is the yellow, this is the orange. But when I do these, I do them for myself because I have these floating shelves and these various different styles of martini glasses and wine glasses and a decanter set and all these different things. So it's like a gorgeous display that I have on floating shelves. So I don't use the dishwasher safe because for me, they're more decorative, so they're there just for show. However, if I was going to use them, it's just as easy to just simply hand wash them. I mean, unless you had 60 of them and you had a big party, to me, it's just, just as simple. So for the purpose that I'm using it for, the high gloss finisher Mod Podge is all I need. So what, are, what colors are we using today? Well, you guys, absolutely loved my last Dutch pour, which was a red wine Dutch pour. It was gorgeous. I made my own mix-up of uh, the base, which I will show you because I have some leftover. So I am using the gold, okay, the 24 karat gold, my go-to by Deco Art Metallics. Okay, it's quite thick because of the dip. So I do have a full mound. And then I added some more to my current mix of this gorgeous, it looks more red, but if you're looking at the container, it really dried like a red wine plum color. And so I have some left over and I want to use that. And then of course, it's really hard for me almost always to use black. So I've got Artist Loft Soft Body Black here. So just the three colors, guys. You guys know I like to keep it simple, but I really wanted this to be bright, vibrant, and elegant. We're going to do a ring pour on the 8x10, and we're going to do a metallic dip on the glasses. I have a piece of parchment paper here that I already have ready. I'm just gonna tape it to my work surface. So let's go ahead, guys, and get started. Beautiful guys, see the sparkle in that? Beautiful. Now that red wine, just like before, is gonna dry uh, darker. Okay. That's the bottom.
Okay, artistic family. So everything is all dried here. I have my high gloss or my gloss Mod Podge. I have my um, one inch foam brush and dried really well. I mean, of course, darker, extremely shimmery. Really like the style and the composition of it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to frame it now. I know I said that, guys. What I'm thinking I might do, or this is more like a set, is get a serving tray or a cradle board, maybe a cradle board, and place that inside. I can just glue it and uh, E6000 or what have you, and uh, use it that way. And I think, I think, and then I may just put the glasses on top in the tray when that's done. If I do do that, I will update you guys and show you. But for now, let's go ahead and I'm going to finish the bottom of the wine glasses. So, if you guys can see, it dried really well, flat, there's no bubbles in it, perfect, okay? And again, this is what they look like. Gorgeous, just look at them. So I'm only going to do one coat. Um, just like I did on the last one. I believe I only did one coat mainly because it's glass So you get the reflection as you can see and it's extremely Shiny you can already see the shimmer and again, they're decorative and the one um, Coat is plenty to just wash it and uh, by hand and go. Okay, so it's quite simple here guys all I do is Just put a tiny bit of Mod Podge on Okay I don't wet or anything my brush with this. Okay. And I can already tell from a few swipes that I want more because you don't want to have to go over it several times. Okay. It does dry clear. And when I use the foam brush, whether it be with uh, the polycrylic Minwax, I go around the little sides too, or with this for this uh, type of application, I was fine with not getting any brush strokes. So. And then I just go over to take off any access, and that's it. I don't uh, fuss with it too much, and um, I haven't had a problem. Okay. Use a little bit too much there. And again, I just lightly go around the sides. Take them off here, get the excess. So that will dry completely clear, guys. Let me tell you guys about the 10K giveaway. So I wanna do the same thing that I did last time. And last time what I did was I got you guys to comment with 5K giveaway in the comments. So I want you to do the same thing. So here's the dealio. From now, okay, which will be the 17th of April um, up until April 30th. Comment on any video, not just this one, but this one as well as any video with whatever you want and including hashtag 10K giveaway. I will enter that in as part of my selection process in the YouTube picker and that's how I will select the lucky subby. Now you must be subscribed to my channel. Okay, that is key. Um, I don't feel great about giving away a $75 value for appreciation to my loyal subbies who comment and like and share my videos on a regular basis to somebody who's not subscribed to my channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for, for watching. I appreciate you all. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my acrylic pouring on glass playlist. And I'll see you all in the next pour.